you have a sweetheart in Stellar Bay? I had a fling or two, sure. But on Monarch, relationships ain't usually meant to last. A lot of fools tried to impress me, feigning bravado in the wilds, thinking they'd catch my attention with their stories. It was cute. Not so cute when their act got themselves munched. You know what's sexy? Confidence. You know what ain't? Disembowelment. Oh, well, this is certainly a town, I think. Fallbrook's great. Anything you want, they've got it. So long as you've got the bits. Always imagine Fallbrook would be... If you're feeling like the civilized type, the waterfall's a good spot to wash your clothes. Hey, Cass. Knock, knock. 
Go away, White. James is Reginald's stuff, all right, but... Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. On the outside of the door. Guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. No, but thank you. I'm quite all right as I am. Hmm? Oh, you're still here. I said I don't require anything at this time. Run along now. I've had more than enough to satisfy my thirst for one evening. Deal? A rather bad one indeed. The fellow swore Fallbrook was unrivaled in its leisurely pursuits. But it seems to me the whole town is designed primarily to leech one's bits. And now that I've run dry, or nearly so, the fellas have abandoned me back to Byzantium. You wouldn't leave a friend in need, I'm sure. Don't suppose I could just ask you to scram. Can't fathom why you'd go searching her out. But it's your neck on the noose. I was told she runs the saloon. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. What? You never cease to amaze me, you know that? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. I couldn't risk you not bringing me here. It sounds like you have things to work out between you. I'll just be on my way. Would you have brought me all this way just to watch me beat the life out of a greasy ex-convict if I had? Fantastic. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. I wholeheartedly concur. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, stop! Please, just listen to me. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. What? No! I want to thank you for not interfering back there with Cheney. It has been a long time since I gave in to my... violent enthusiasm. I thought my training had allowed me to leave it behind, but... prison brought it all raging back. I denied that part of myself for too long, pretending I was something I'm not. I've spent my life chasing an illusion. It's time I gave up childish dreams and accepted who I am. 
I'm sure it would seem such to you, but I don't believe it is. I think I always knew this day would come. I was just afraid to admit it. Even to myself. It may seem silly, but if you'd indulge me one last thing, I think I'd like to find this hermit he spoke of and give her the book. Maybe she can find some use for it. Thank you, Captain. I knew I could rely on you. I think it will help put all this behind me. Making my way there. Ha! What do you think you're doing? Yeah, all right. I guess you're on the level. You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine send you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? No, I don't have any... Ugh. If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the ante up, where you place your bets. Toss ball, auto loader races, card games, you name it. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose and shirk on paying. Exterminator. Glad you showed up to take care of those mantis swarms. Hate those fucking things. Uh huh. You blind little bird, or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Crude, but forthright. I admire that. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening.
good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Do I look like one of them egghead science types? All I know is that labs use it to create plants and livestock out of local species. But it's a controlled commodity, available only to the board. So it is of high value on the dark market. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Shall I inscribe that on your tombstone? Now. After you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Shall I inscribe that on your tombstone as well? Once you've got our goods, take them to the Groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. Use the passcode Antediluvian on the terminal to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. Good. This particular matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego he's making the only meal to be had this side of monarch and i'm tired of ponying up for my dinner i want that forest factory owner dead or alive and you're the soon to be handsomely paid fucker who's gonna get it for me guess you've got it figured out then good hit him where it hurts in his gut or his production lines ought to make do. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, See Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Shh. Remind me never to get on Ms. Malin's bad side. She's fine. Well, so long as you ain't on her bad side. Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Not so fast. The biometric IDs are special goods. Only on offer to special clients. You cotton? She needs it for a job? Well, why didn't you say so? Reckoned you asked her where to best procure one, and she obligingly pointed you my way. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. 
careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? Take a gander at that mug. I ain't ever seen someone so adept looking my whole life. Watch yourself, Captain. This guy's got eyes like a sprat set on stealing your dinner. I get the sense this fellow isn't entirely sincere. Ah, oh, now, come on. All I mean is, well, rather that, uh... You don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium goldblood. Say... I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. It's no flattery when it's true. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoopleheads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Thirty-five percent? Are you... Are you out of your gourd? If I wasn't recovering from a bout of Margellans, I wouldn't stand for this. But things are what they are, so... I'll agree to it. But not half a percent more. My Sprat carriers scurry back and forth through the shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. three days ago. Try me.
Did you find them? Tell me you found my dr I mean, my Sprat carriers. Would hate should anything dire have befallen them. <laughs> Just tell me straight and don't hold back. I can handle it. Sprat can always be replaced. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, this is per... This is only half! Are you... You think you can steal from me? Ow! Damn it, that hurt like the blazes. Okay, okay, all right. You didn't take it. But someone did. Search Fallbrook. Either half the Sprats got loose on their own, or there'll be some evidence pointing to the soon-to-be-dead snake who filched my carriers. You want your cut? You get me the rest of my drugs, no matter what it takes. Look what you've done. It'll take me ages to round him up again. State your purpose, or get out of my face, domicile intruder. Missing? Nope. Nope. Mine are all found and accounted for. Thank you kindly. Now, if that'll be all, I've got an animal rescue service to oversee, and it ain't easy. Lots to do. Got a multitude of sprats to spay and feed. Day in, day out, they ran their little route, getting picked off along the way. What was I to do, turn a blind eye? Malin's an animal lover. She won't hold my actions against me. Look, I don't care if Nelson sent you or not. You won't be hurting a hair on any of these sprats' heads. I've killed vicious beasts for them. I ain't afraid to take on a human. Back out of this domicile, hands up, or become sprat food, intruder. Got the goods? Because I know you wouldn't be wasting my time otherwise. Wink. Nuttier than Miss Malin. Cripes. Remind me never to cross you. Though, you put that mean right hook to good use getting my drugs, and I'll be more than happy. You do? I mean, you do! Of course you do! What did I tell you? Sure, fire, delivery, system. Works almost every time. Sure, they're wrapped it on fodder and suffer the occasional overdose when a container dissolves in their stomach acid. Wait, what do you mean rescued them? That deranged piece of sprat shit! If Bertrand ain't already dead, he's about to be. I owe you for bringing this breach in security to my attention. As promised, you're cut. Plus a little extra to show my gratitude. Now, if there's nothing else you need from me, I must go inventory my goods. Hit me. I won't even hit back. 
Wow. You're either an extremely important person or slated for a slow and torturous death. I do hope it's the former. Either way, you'll find Miss Catherine Malin straight back in Malin's House of Hospitality. Officially, I keep the books for Miss Malin, provide loans to the Byzantium Goldbloods for gaming, and oversee our drug running operations. Speaking of, might I interest you in a purchase? I'll give you a first time discount. That's 5% off and a free drink at the ante up. You're welcome. A shrewd decision. Here's your starter pack and your drink voucher. Sure it is. Wink. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Welcome to the offices of the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group, Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. It sure is. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. Typical. That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one.
You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhel can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Oh, you mean hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. And you'd theoretically add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. That's for the best. What can I do for you? Got nimble fingers, Captain. Sorry, Captain. Can we talk? You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. Hey, you did the real work. All I had to do was not be dead. I'm just glad my folks aren't gonna live off that awful story they made up. Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have the money too. Just don't ask me what I plan on doing with it. If only you could have been my chief surgeon back in the day. Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. Don't make it weird. Even you've got to be in it for the money now and then. Why else would you go through all this trouble? I always thought it meant we get used to the smell of each other's dirty socks. But you really do see a rosier version of things, huh? Well, I've got a few years of experience that would suggest differently. Still, maybe you've got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day, they watch yours. So, you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. It's nothing personal. It's just the closest thing I've got to a code. Anyway, enough of the touchy-feelies, huh? 